Hey guys, so, in the car with D. Um, why did I choose to sign up to Arbonne? So I had this epiphany, just now Tuesday, so it was actually Sunday night. Um, in 2010, I created a company called New Life with two business partners, um, Matthew and Haley, And we were basically so focused on brand management, we was, you know, we wanted uh, bricks and mortar, we wanted like, a center, we wanted everything. We wanted like an online academy, we wanted teaching, we wanted classes, and obviously with that as well, we wanted a shop. We were looking extensively at products to put our name behind. We were speaking about a distribution deal uh, with a uh, Noni juice drink in Hawaii, and basically being like the, the only UK um, distributors of that. Uh, just and, and in that that was like mainly to I mean to obviously boost everybody's health um, but to you know Noni has been uh, kind of proven to like really really help people with diabetes and stuff like that so there was there was a lot that we were trying to do and we were searching uh, Dead Sea Mineral makeup we were just extensively searching thinking is this something we're happy to put our names to you know blah 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 and um Anyway, it never really came to fruition. There was a couple of things that, you know, our companies were sending us samples and, you know, like beauty products and, and all this kind of stuff. And uh, nothing really ever came to fruition. Then, obviously, when my direction in that work changed around 2014, I very much became like I was independent, like I'd leveraged myself from a building, I'd leveraged myself from, from a desk. I was pretty much coaching people via my, via my Mac. Um, and basically ad hoc sessions in like various therapy centers you know essentially around the world and, and obviously I still do that today like that's my, my business uh, model like, I own no assets in, in regards to my company my company is me um, and then Arbonne like I say Arbonne has been in my awareness um, for about five years now maybe maybe just five years um, and I'd heard like such great things about how in 10 days you can really notice the difference of like you looking younger with the RE9 kit and blah 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 and you know we, we got some samples and, and to be fair I never I never kind of part open took in any of any of it I was just like okay it's cool um, when I did try a cream um, like once my skin like fizzed like it was, I don't know like burning or something like that and I was just like geez what chemicals are in this um obviously that was my first thought I was like okay so if they're you know getting anti-aging like so so, so spot on what are they doing regards you know the processing but you know as it turns out they're a B Corp company which means um they have to be completely transparent with all of their ingredients and they're allowed no toxins whatsoever you know just to bring that into perspective uh, Arbon bans 2000 um, ingredients from all of its products in Europe those same products that are banned I mean there's 1300 that are burned, uh, banned in, in Europe and in America it's 11 to give you some perspective so what you're getting is really really clean uh, source produce that goes into into the products um, this is obviously what drives the, the cost up because it's the sourcing um, and, and the whole R&D. Um, and then I had literally had this epiphany the other night. I was just like, this is the company you've been looking for for 10 years. Something that you believe in. Uh, I do believe in their products. And just the fact that I signed up, I now get a massive discount on all their products, which I personally will continue to use. I will support my family my household using these products because you know people i think people forget you know your skin is your largest organ and whatever you're putting on your skin is being absorbed into your bloodstream um you know obviously since you know going to aa and becoming an alcoholic i have worn aftershave just because obviously generally aftershave is made of alcohol um you know, I think I read this thing once, um, 
that the average woman puts 207 chemicals in her body every day. This is part of her routine. This is makeup, this is moisturizers, this is hairspray, fake tan, everything like this. This is crazy. You know, like that is being absorbed into your body. So, this is the company I've been looking for. I've been looking for Arbonne for 10 years. Uh, they've been orbiting me for five years, or should I say, I've been orbiting them. Um, and never really. I don't know, it was like almost like an awakening. I was just like, oh my God. So, I mean, I'm invested in their products. I really, truly believe their products. Um, and regarding sustainability, like this is a fast, uh, sorry, a detox or a cleanse that I'm currently doing. Um, it's sustainable. I, I could carry, I could roll this business, uh, roll this, this model out, you know, forever because it's it's working uh it's not like oh there's a shelf life on it at the end of 30 days which is next tuesday like wednesday i'm going to smash a marmite sandwich with hula hoops and i'm going to get a coffee you know i probably will to be fair because i've been missing a marmite sandwich um with hula hoops and you know i remember the first time i gave up caffeine i, I went six weeks without any caffeine whatsoever and it got to the stage where I was, was like, I feel that I've beaten the mental addiction, um, the physical addiction and everything like that. And I was just like, I just want to taste a coffee. And that's, I literally went to, I think it was Asda on, on my way home from Reading one day. Um, I, I'd been seeing my daughter and um, I brought every decaf they had on the shelf and I found, found one that worked. I found one that ticked the box of, a tick in my brain was just like, mm, you've had a coffee. Uh, this is um, something that I probably will continue to do. Um, it's changed so much really, I think about mentally how I look at things and just what's possible um, with the current life that I lead where I'm sitting in a car for almost 20 hours a week. And from that I am I'm able to just look at my behaviors with food. Now, to be fair, like I'm not, a cent I'm not even really a bad case when it comes to food, you know. And I feel how much it's moved me in a sense of like mental clarity, energy levels, and stuff like that. It could absolutely change someone's life. Um, I'm not gonna be. I, you know, I, I certainly don't envisage myself being like this person's hosting parties and, and stuff like that. Like I have a core bunch of clients, uh, PT and therapy. Um, I have some very affluent clients as well, but it's not something I'm gonna be like, what's your daily moisturizing ritual? You know, what's your routine? I, I'm not gonna be like doing that. Um, I will walk my talk. I always found that was the most, um, had the most impact when I was, what the hell is this policeman doing? He's just driving down the wrong side of the road, what's a knot? I um, always found that um, had the most impact. So if I was like trying to push juicing on people, people would be like, oh, you know, I'm, arthri I'm, I'm, I'm arthritic in my knee. I'd be like, cool, what you need is celery juice, you need bromelain, blah, blah, blah. It's really abundant in celery, it's really abundant in pineapple. And then people would just be like, piss off with your, like, do you know what I mean? Stop pushing juicing on me. And so what I done was I just started juicing the hell out of myself until I guess I transformed. People were just like, whoa, you look so different, you look cool, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing? I'm like, well, I'll take a seat. There's this little thing here called a juicer. So I thought that's probably what I'm gonna do. Like when people ask me about my routine, what do I do? What do I advise? I'm gonna say that, yo, I'm on this. You know, it's really interesting that um, a friend of mine actually gave me two big bags of protein um, about 18 months ago. And I've never really taken a protein shake ever because I've always looked to food to, to basically give me what I need. Um, embarrassingly, I had to ask another friend how to make a protein shake. And uh, they were like, why are you taking protein? And I was just like, ah, oh, because you know, like I've been given a couple of bags, I said, I'll try it. And they're like, and I was like, why, what's wrong with me having protein? And she was just like, well, because at the end of the day, mate, you get all your, like, no one eats like you do, that she knows. So she was just like, 
you know, you're probably going to get everything you need because of all the whole foods you eat, obviously being plant-based. And uh, I was just like, oh, okay. And I was just like, so why? Do I said, but you, I mean, she's a marathon runner. I was just like, you take protein. She's like, yeah, because I eat like shit. And I'm like, oh. And she's like, most people you'll find, she says, either use it as meal replacement, skip meals, or they can justify the junk because they'll have a protein shake or they'll, they'll take supplements and stuff like this. It's almost like this fast tick box thing of like, well, I've got my nutrients in today, so now I can go crazy. And do you know what? It's actually interesting because the more people I've spoken to about this whole like supplements exist because of convenience, because of how much fast paced lifestyles people have. And they're just like, oh, I haven't got time to that. And I think that's probably why juice bars now are so prevalent everywhere and doing so well because people, it's one less thing that people have to worry about. One, like procuring a juicer, buying the veg, preparing it, making the juice, cleaning the machine, you know, all this faff that goes into it. Um, don't get me wrong, but I love juice and I love homemade juice. Um, and you know, and I think like that's just where it's going. People are like, okay, cool. So if I just take this sachet once a day, like that's gonna give me this. And you're like, yeah. And so, you know, it's almost a thing of like, okay, well, this is how society is now. Society are supplementing. Yeah, I feel it's my job to potentially educate people because some of the, the stuff that I've seen regarding supplements is absolute toxic. You know, when you're just looking at the ingredients and they've got 50 plus names that you can't even pronounce, like, is this really good for me? You know, and um, I think just to bring that level of awareness to people and just see how they feel, like, you know, with like a cleaner protein, you know, and again, it's, there's a, a mindset. You know, that I, I sometimes see, you know, working in the gym um, sometimes that, you know, people are about um, quantity over quality, you know, and spirulina is one of the most densest source of protein on the planet, you know, but because of the hype and it's been blown up, it's, it's quite expensive now. Um, but, you know, you take it you know, in raw form, so it makes it a lot more bioavailable to the body, it's absorbed into your bloodstream a whole lot quicker. So, that said, like, that was a massive tangent. Um, yeah, so just wrapping up, uh, I am now gonna be selling Arbonne products, um, and that's that's really why uh, I believe in the products. Um, I'm gonna continue to use them myself. Um, I feel amazing on this cleanse. It's day 23 today. Um, yeah. Um, still got seven more days left so um, it's all good anyway I hope you all have an amazing day um, if you have any questions about our one or you want to chat anything about it give me a shout um, either a comment below or just go into my Instagram which will be reform balance or Daryl Kempster and um, just hit me up just hit, shoot me a message and uh, we can chat okay peace